Number 11 on trending. There's an 80% increase in fires just over the last year alone. And this comes, of course, after the hottest July our planet has ever seen. Good them, guys. Welcome back. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Check out uh, the latest video I've uploaded on this series, The Ultimate. Don't waste time on your own when the path is already known. So yes, this is an episode I released, so check it out. One powerful cognition of why the relationship of Guru-Disciple should be cherished in one's life and should be strengthened. Today, I'm taking a topic, trending topic, the Amazon forest, rainforest burning um, at an alarming rate. And uh, I want to use that to bring a powerful cognition regarding the importance of experiencing, um, cognizing and having your every cells of your body to vibrate with this experience of oneness. So we have many issues around the world that we've been trying to attend to with more or less success. Um, not necessarily much. So anyways, the environment is going down and a lot of the problems we face is because we don't experience the oneness with, with, with things around us, um, which makes us don't feel responsible and we don't take the ownership of um, changing things and making things happen. So one powerful cognition I'm sharing in today's episode is why the importance of Guru. We carry many incomplete cognitions about life. Cognitions that we have uh, created for ourselves that we strongly believe and stand by, but that are rooted in powerlessness. So Guru is um, the focus that you need to have so that you can start to attend to all your incompletions and remove the root of powerlessness inside of you. Every incompletion that you have about yourself, about others, about life will constantly be triggered in various situations with various people and so on and so on. Um, but when you live in the outside world, it's very difficult to attend to because everything is different. Every situation is different. People are different. Um, you don't feel the same in all situations. So you don't know what is responsible for what and what is incompletion, what is not. And if it is an incompletion, how to attend to it, it gets very messy because there's so much distraction. But when you have Guru and when you align to Guru and implement the teachings, the principles and the Guru Vox, the instructions that Guru gives to guide you in your life, then every, your life becomes focused on Guru. So all the incomplete cognitions you have about life will be focused towards Guru and that will help you to see these incompletions faster and to complete them so that you can reintegrate your being and that you can experience the oneness. Once you experience the oneness with the Guru, because the Guru would have helped you to complete all the incomplete cognitions, not only you will no longer have incomplete cognitions, you will experience oneness with the Guru and then afterwards automatically you will experience oneness with everything around you. And from that space, then we can attend, then you can attend to um, situations that are out there that require a space of non-violence, which is achieved only from the space of oneness, which is manifested only from the space of oneness and a space of responsibility, a space of ownership um, about everything that is happening inside and outside of us. So rainforest, uh, it's burning, that's not good news. We have to do something about it. But definitely the first step is to complete the inner violence. How? By aligning to Guru and allowing the completion and the powerful cognitions to be um, established deeper within us so that we can experience the oneness space. So with this guys, I'll see you guys in another episode of the ultimate Guru-Disciple relationship. Nidhyanda.